Hey guys, Mike Lalonde, Century 21 Prospect Realty. We're gonna try something out a little different here on Tuesdays from now. We're gonna call it Tuesdays on the Road with Mike. And uh, we're gonna talk about some kind of stuff that's important to the real estate world while we're driving around. I spend a lot of time in my car chatting all the time. Uh, I spend a lot of time going from listing to listing to showing to showing or spending time with clients in my car. So it seems like just a natural place to spend time with you guys and talk about a little bit what's happening. So let's get started, here we go. So CREA, the Canadian Real Estate Association, just released uh, their forecast update for the rest of 2019 and for 2020, and some pretty interesting stuff there. Basically what they've said is economic conditions, which include you know decrease in unemployment, stabilization in population growth, and a holding pattern on the interest rates, have created an economy where things are looking up for the housing market for Canada in 2019 and 2020. Also they credit some of the stuff coming out in budget 2019 to help change the outlook uh, for the forecast for 2019 and 2020. So the first time home buyer incentive program that the federal government has proposed and will be implementing. That program is a shared equity mortgage plan that allows uh, a home buyer to uh, share some equity and get some money from the federal government. Um, lots of details on that. You should look it up. Maybe we'll post a link later. Also, they're increasing the max amount that you're allowed to pull out of your RRSP as a first time home buyer to uh, 35,000. So another thing that can help. So when you combine the current economic state in Canada as well as uh, the situation with interest rates and these new incentives that are coming uh, down the pipe thanks to the federal government, Korea has basically said that they're upwardly revising their forecast for 2019 and 2020. So now they're predicting 463,000 total sales by year end, and that's up 1.2% from what they had originally predicted for 2019. In fact, in March, they were calling for a 1.6% decline in uh, total sales. And then when they look forward to 2020, they're predicting a growth of 4.4% or 483,200 sales in 2020. And this is also an increase. They had predicted an increase in 2020 of 2% back in March, but they've now upped that number with the uh, current market conditions. So what do things look like in Yellowknife right now? Well, Yellowknife has been and continues to be a pretty, pretty solid market this year. In fact, total volume of sales as of today, June 18th, 2019, have us sitting at 132 sales. That's a 32% increase over the same time period last year. So if in the back of your mind you were thinking about selling in 2019 or even looking forward to selling in 2020, now would be the time to start making those preparations. Things are good, the market is strong, there's lots of homes moving and the Canadian Real Estate Association is predicting that this is not going to change anytime soon. Thanks for taking a ride with me today, guys. We're gonna do this again next week. If you have any topics you wanna to hear me talk about, please send them my way and we can uh, make sure to do it. But I gotta go get back to work now. Once again, Michael on Century 21 Prospect Realty. See you later, Yellowknife.